Well, Johnny, gosh, the kids were just so, so excited today to be witnessing this historic moment. They were all screaming and pointing up at the sun. And even though it was unfortunately a little bit cloudy during our moment of total coverage, it was still really neat to notice that everything got darker and also colder outside. And this was all made possible because the North Penn School District received this donation of about 14,000 of these Eclipse glasses from locally based pharmaceutical company Merck that made their viewing experience possible. To witness this historic moment through a kid's eyes. I'm feeling excited. I've never seen a solar eclipse with my whole class, and especially my friends. Oh my God. North Penn is one of the school districts that didn't dismiss early today. Instead, they turned the eclipse viewing into a learning opportunity. Hundreds of Gwynedd Square Elementary students gathered with their teachers in their backfield eyes and fingers pointing up. There are lessons to be learned in history regarding eclipses, um, in math, science, and it's STEM uh, at its finest. A real world application of class lessons. And an eclipse like this won't happen for another 20 years in 2044. The next time uh, I see this, I think I'll be about 69 years old, so <laughs> I will definitely be retired. I estimated and I think I'll be about 30 or 31 when it happens. <laughs> Fourth grader Isabel Ryan already knows she wants to be a teacher. She says in 2044, she could be outside with her own class, having this same viewing experience, a full circle moment. So you're very lucky if you get to see one. And you never know, there could be a future astronaut or NASA engineer among her classmates too. I would love to be an astronaut when I grow up too. <laughs> Kids are just so funny. <laughs> But definitely a very inspirational day for some of these kids. Exciting to know that this could be in some of their futures and just all around just a cool collective experience for all of us here on planet Earth. <laughs> We're live in Lansdale. Karen Hua, NBC 10 News. Back to you guys.